Biloxi, Alabama for another outstanding college football game. Horrible weather conditions, cold and rainy for today's game between the UCLA Bruins and the Crimson Tide of Alabama. And here comes the Crimson Tide. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. The Crimson Tide seem to have the better team. They should win this game. What do you think, Kirk? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think you're exactly right about this. Alabama has outstanding leadership on defense, and it all starts with this young man. He gets his teammates lined up and ready to play every down. And coach, he's got them ready to go for this one. Let me tell you why I agree with you. UCLA does not have the talent up front defensively to stop their running game. Kirk, the only way they have a chance to win this game is to force turnovers. Even then, I don't think it's going to be enough for them to win. UCLA is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. And they'll be returning this one. Number 87 fields it at the two. Gets past the tackler. They'll take over at the 23-yard line. One man backfield. They'll give it off here. He spins around, and down he goes. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. The tide set up in the gun. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down. Just a yard there. One yard gain on the play. Third and eight. Ball on the 25-yard line. Ace backfield. There's the play fake. Over the middle. His receiver has it. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. What Alabama lines up with a split backfield. Fullback on the inside give. And they make the stop. A gain of three yards by the fullback. Second and seven. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tide line up in a split back set. He drops back. Throws short. Complete. And he's shoved out of bounds. They pick up two on the pass play. Third so another five. third down upcoming All for the offense. Alabama comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. He's rolling right. Throws it to the outside. And he drops it. Dropped by the lineup. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 23 gets it off. Number 39 takes it at the 23. The 50. The defense did its job to open the game, and now it's the offense's turn. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Trying to 
get that home field advantage, and the defense is doing their best to fire up this crowd. He's going left. And that one's fallen incomplete. That one was thrown in the direction of the tight ends. And as a coach, you hate to see the perfect play call wasted because of poor execution. Here, the quarterback just overshot this time. Missed tackle. Brought down. Just about three yards there. The Bruins with a full house backfield. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That time they came with the blitz and caused enough confusion up front, they were able to get to him. looking to make this crowd a factor. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Number four, signals for a fair catch. They'll down the punt at the three. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. And they've got a lot of field in front of them as they start this drive. This is a situation where you don't want to make a mistake. Drops back to pass. He's looking for his man, and it's incomplete. He overshot his halfback that time. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on their own three. I doubt they'd put the ball in the air in this situation. Up the middle with a fullback. And they make the stop. A good six yards there by the fullback. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the nine-yard line. Alabama lines up in a pro set. He drops back. He tosses it short. Batted ball. So they go three and out after that incompletion. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He gets it away. Number 39 fields it at the 50. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing for them last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. UCLA going with the power eye. Pull that hand off. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Got one on the face mask, on the defense. That'll move him forward. And they're loving it. Anytime you can get three yards, you'll take it. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 40. Power eye set. Up the middle. And he's taken down. Oh, coach, he picked up a few yards on that one. Brad, tough running by this kid. First and ten. Ball on the 35. UCLA lines up in a double tight set. Short toss, and it's caught. They'll bring him down. A seven-yard gain that time from the play-action pass completion. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 28-yard line. UCLA going with a wishbone here. He's looking down the middle. Almost picked off. 
and an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. We get third and three here. This is the fifth play of this drive. They line up in an eye. Break one. And they make the stop. He picks up the first on that run. This is what is called the old counter play. You see the lineman pull one way. The play is designed to go the other way. And here the tailback picks up nice yardage and another first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. The Bruins with a stack backfield. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Still no score. First and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. UCLA lines up in the bone. On the ground with a tailback. And he's hit hard. One, two, three. Kirk, he might be up. look back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year. That guy is really great. Second and 12 coming up here. This is the seventh play of this drive. UCLA lines up in a double tight set. Toss. He's gobbled up in the backfield. A four yard loss. Faces another third down here as they line up. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Back to pass. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. He gets it up. And it's right down the middle. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. UCLA is ready to kick it away. Number 87 and number 81 deep to return. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 87 fields it at the seven. He tries to spin. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. First and ten. The Tide come out of the ace formation. Counter play. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Keep it on the ground again. Tackle. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. Third and eight. Ball on their own 26. The Bruins line up with six defensive backs. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. It's deflected. He just couldn't find the handle. That poor kid looked like he was trying to catch his greased pig. Easy, Scooter. At least he kept the receiver from making the play. Right. Fourth and eight. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 
23. Gets it off. Number 39. Fields it to 34. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. They'll get the ball here at the 40-yard line. The Bruins come out of the power eye. And he's going to lose yards on this one. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler, and he showed it right there. No question. You can tell these guys are very well coached when you see these kind of tackles. Second and 13. Ball on the 37. Two tight end set. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Back to pass. He's going left. Incomplete pass. That one was thrown in the direction of the tight end. And as a coach, you hate to see the perfect play call wasted because of poor execution. Here the quarterback just overshot this time. UCLA going with the wishbone here. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. He drops back. Rolls to the left. Throws this one out to the left. Couldn't haul it in. The line out unable to catch that pass. So they're set to pump this one away. Number 10 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 81 fields it at the 18. Mid move. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 31-yard line. Pullback straight ahead. He's gobbled up in the backfield. So the defensive lineman comes up with a big stop. Alabama takes a timeout. Two minutes to go in the half. The Crimson Tide line up in a split back set. Keep it on the ground with the tailback. They'll drop him for a loss. Nice play by the big D lineman. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 30. The Bruins line up in a nickel back. Drops back to pass. He's going left. Complete. He's knocked out of bounds. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. Complete. And that was a big pass play. It's second and inches. Ball on the 47-yard line. One man backfield. He gets another carry. He can scoop. And he's tackled. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding on the offense. Ten yard penalty. Still in the Alabama second calls a timeout. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own forty-three. 
Alabama lines up in a shotgun set. It's a bad snap with the throw. Knocked out of bounds. And the completion nets some very little yardage. Coach, what's up with that play? I'll tell you, those defenders crashed in and got him in a hurry. No chance to get anything there. So another third down upcoming for the offense. UCLA comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Got it. And down he goes. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. That reception good for seven yards. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. Looks. And he just gets rid of it. Another pass play, and this one goes incomplete. They're trying to sneak that same play by the defense three times now, but the defense wouldn't allow success on that one. They're acting like they're in practice running the same play over and over and over. And they'll try to get the first through the air. Throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. The quarterback saw the blitz and let it fly, but too high. Oh, that rhymes. UCLA lines up in the bone. He drops back. Looking. He's under some heat. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush. And that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Bruins line up in the Maryland eye formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Well, that play sure didn't work. Brad, this is a sensational play by the defense. They just charged in there, and they stuffed it. Third and 11. Ball on the 24. Folks, let's pause now as we reach the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, UCLA 3, Alabama nothing. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number 84 takes from the 10. Sheds that one. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 36. UCLA lines up in the Maryland eye. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Hit as he throws. Spins up field. And he's tackled. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back. And the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. And the quarterback did a tremendous job of the fake handoff, too. Number 34 is the single setback. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. The running back gets the first. One yard game on the play. Right. 
First and ten. Ball on the 46. Number 34 is a deep back as they line up in the eye. He gets another carry. And they hit him in the backfield. Well, the offensive line needs to do a better job up front of opening the hole for the running back. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 45-yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. It's third down and 13 to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Nickel defense drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 10 gets it off. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 27. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. So get the ball here at the 27-yard line. The Crimson Tide line up in a split back set. They'll throw on first down. He's going left. Got it. And down he goes. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. There's the play fake. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Finds his receiver. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 40. They line up in an eye. He spins. Brought down. That's a pretty nice run there. Yeah, for a first down, too. Yeah, anytime you can get production like this from the fullback, you give the defense something else to worry about. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down four, maybe five yards on the run. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. Number 20 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Keep it on the ground again. And he's taken down. Nothing going on that one. Third and five. This is the sixth play of this drive. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Across the middle. He looks to be hurt down there. So even though they couldn't produce a touchdown on this drive, they will be able to tie this up with a field goal here. He gets it up. And it's no good. It lands short. They'll take over at the 30-yard line. Alabama lines up in a dime defense here. 
The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Inside you, he jukes, and they make the stop for maybe five yards on the run. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. One man backfield. He gets another carry. They'll bring him down. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on their own 36. UCLA will line up in a jumbo set here. They go with the run. Brought down. How about that run? I love this right here. They're just really sticking it to him. Old-fashioned football. Definitely just give it to the fullback and let him grind it out for the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. UCLA going with the power eye. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. On the ground with the tailback. And he stopped behind the line. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Second and 11 coming up. And this is the fifth play in the current drive. We're only separated by a field goal as the third quarter comes to a close. Second and 11. Ball on the 39. UCLA sets up in the eye. Wants to throw outside. And it's incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Alabama comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He drops back, looks across the middle. It's deflected, and it falls incomplete. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Trying to make it hard to hear, and the defense urging the crowd to get to their feet. Number 10 gets it off. Number 81 fields it at the 24. A missed field goal was the result of the last drive. We'll have to see if they can come through with something this possession. They'll set up shot at the 27. UCLA lines up with five defensive backs. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. He's got all day. Rolls to the right. Pumps once. Home run ball in the air. Oh, he had a shot at the pitch. Good defense there, guys. I wonder if the quarterback was expecting to see man coverage there because he threw it right to the defense. And that's what's so tough about playing against a zone. You think a guy's open, and out of nowhere, a defender shows up. Just like that. Second and ten. Ball on the 27. Alabama comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Up the middle. Got an opening with the spin. And he's tackled. Gain of nine. Nine yard gain on the play. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 36 yard line. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And off to the fullback. And they make the stop. And that was a nice run on third down. That's right, Brad. Those big uglies up front did a nice job of paving the way for the ball carrier. It's first and 
10. Ball on the 40. Here's a pitch, left side. And he's taken down. Seven yard play. Seven yard game on the play. Second and three coming up. This is the fifth play of this drive. The tide come out in the ace formation. He's going right. And that one's fallen incomplete. The tailback, the intended target. Well, here the quarterback put just a little bit too much on the ball and overthrew him. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Crimson Tide line up in a goal line formation. Drop back to pass. With the throw. It's dropped. Not on target at all this drive. Guys. They gotta go for it here. Has some daylight. Inside the 30. He can't get him and he's still going. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Flipping on the offense. Flipping our penalty. Still They'll be called for an infraction. That will put them back a few paces. Man, the coaches are going to have to talk to these young guys about committing unnecessary fouls. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 23 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 39 takes it to 25. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll, They'll go to work at the 35. Number 34 lines up as a single back. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. On the ground with the tail brought down. That's four yards on the play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 39-yard line. They come out in the Maryland eye. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. And they got him for a loss. The halfback couldn't get any running room. And that was because the defense had called a blitz just at the right time. He went right through the offensive line and nailed him for a loss. Third and nine. Ball on their own 36. The Bruins come out in the ace formation. He drops back. Throws a lob pass out to the right. In and out of his hand. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. The defense now really trying to get the crowd into it. Gets it off. Number 81 fields it at 26. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 36. The Bruins bring in their dive package. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Wants the middle. Takes on the tackle. Tackle. Good yardage.
yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. Number 12. Back in the gun. Pressure coming. Across the middle. It falls incomplete. That's what can happen when you run the same play. You need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. Here are today's Red Zone Players of the Game, which is brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Number 20 is the single setback. Drops back to pass, and he's hit as he throws, and that one's fallen incomplete. He couldn't complete the pass, and Coach, he underthrew it. Yep, he didn't put anything on that one, just kind of shot put it out there. Third and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Bruins bring in the nickel package. He drops back, steps up, looks. He's in trouble, and down he goes. He couldn't avoid the sack there, Coach. Yeah, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. The Crimson Tide are going to take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Fourth and a long shot. And they sack him on fourth down. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, they had to go for it. They're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll get the ball here at the 46. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Alabama takes a timeout. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 44. The Bruins come to the line with their jumbo package. They go with the run. Jed's a tackler. And he's tackled. Alabama calls a timeout. UCLA comes out with two tight ends. A little misdirection. Broke away from one. They'll drop him for a loss. And they fail to convert for the first down. But the offense hates to see that. The defense again, Coach, stepping up. The defense is important. It wins football games for you. is doing their best to fire up this crowd. Punts the ball away. Number 81 takes it at the 16. A confident defense heads out onto the field after stopping this offense on a fourth down attempt the last time they were on the field. And the last thing you want to do is to come out and do nothing again and give them even more confidence. They'll throw on first down. He's under pressure. Once and all, going deep. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 21 yard line. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. Here they come. He's going to air it long. Oh, what an interception. And that's the end of the game. 
Kurt, what do you think of this one? I'm sad to see this one in because it's a great game to watch. Alabama had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. We here at EA Sports thank you for watching this game of NCAA Football 2005. The final count in this one, UCLA 3, Alabama nothing.